So guys, can y'all believe it? Man, I got something to share with y'all, man. Boy, this right here is a mind blower right here. I did a video about Jason Whitlock, right? And the video was in regards to him disrespecting Coach Prime, trying to put the man down, whatever the case may be, right? And I defended Coach Prime, you know what I'm saying? Because for one, everybody know Deion Sanders was everybody's favorite player back in the days, if you're from my era anyway, you know what I'm saying? And then you got somebody like Jason Whitlock, man, that constantly wastes valuable time and energy focusing and on somebody else, disrespecting somebody else for no apparent reasons, man. And, and I don't get it. What, what do they get out of that? What do they get out of trying to put down another black man? You feel me? Like, I don't get it. I don't understand it, man. You should always want to see your own kind successful. We have been down for so long as a culture and as a race of people, man. You know what I mean? And when you see a black man that's as successful as Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, and a lot of other brothers, man, you should give them their flowers, man. Don't don't talk down on them. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't downplay them, man. Celebrate them. Congratulate them. You know what I'm saying? Because we all that we have. But then you got people like Jason Whitlock, for whatever reasons, think the shit that he says and speak on about another black man is going to make him have more leverage and leeway with the white folks. Man, that shit don't work like that, man. Them white people don't care about you. I keep telling y'all bootlicking ninjas out there. The folks don't care nothing about you. You know what I'm saying? So don't think like shit like that go unnoticed to people like me. I'm fully conscious and aware. I'm watching everything. I'm paying attention to everything. And I definitely don't like what I see, man. I, I don't like what I see. And so I voice my opinion on it. So Jason Whitlock sent me a message on Instagram, right? And at some point, I'm going to send this message to y'all, right? For someone of his caliber to be as so special as he is, why would you be responding back to me if you feel like what I'm saying or said about you is not accurate, it's inadequate? I had to have said something that got your to get your attention, man. And I did a good job at that. So that's just like you, man. You, CJ on 32s, Stana Reese, Corey SSG, bitch ass Charleston White. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all have a lot of different things in common, right? CJ is not on that level. He's not a hater. I, I'm, Corey is not a hater. Stana is not a hater. You know what I'm saying? It's just some things that I see those brothers doing that I feel like they can do a little bit better. So I went down playing them. It was just constructive criticism. But you, Jason Whitlock, and bitch-ass Charleston White, y'all don't deserve no kind of success. You don't deserve a platform. You don't deserve nothing because y'all are not here to uplift the black race or the black culture. Y'all here to try to tear it down for a fucking dollar. And you're not going to get nowhere in life like that, man. I guarantee you that. You're not going to get anywhere in fucking life doing that bullshit, man. <coughs> so like I was saying, you and Charleston Wright, white, y'all are two boot licking bitch ass dudes, man. Bottom line. I don't respect you. I don't care for you. I don't care nothing about you. Every time your video pop up, man, I stroll past it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't have to focus on sitting there trying to pay attention or hear what you're saying because I already know what you're talking about. I already know you're talking down on your people, man. That's what y'all guys stand for. And so for all y'all peoples out there, I don't get it. How do Jason Whitlock have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of subscribers? And I know all of y'all are black folks, man. Do y'all remember that number one recruit um, that Coach Prime just got in Colorado? Y'all remember what that man said? He said, why not go and help somebody that look just like you? Not tear him down, man. And that's what those guys doing. But y'all support people like that, man. And I am totally, um, you know, not just dissatisfied, but disappointed with Jason Whitlock and with Charleston White, man. 
And like I said, Charleston White got a whole lot of more shit coming to him in due time. Just be patient. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna be talking, y'all gonna be talking about him in a fucked up way here shortly. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't no good gonna come out of the shit that he's doing, period. And for us, Jason Whitlock, man, back to you. You know, you no different from Charleston White, man. You's a clown too. You's a bitch ass nigga too, bro. That's right, Jason Whitlock. I wish somebody tag your bitch ass in this video. I need somebody to tag your bitch ass and Charleston White bitch ass in this video, bro. Tag them bitch ass dudes, man. Let them know that there is somebody out here that recognize exactly what the fuck they doing. You know what I'm saying? Kwame Brown, he give him hell. But I think Kwame to let up off the gas a little bit. I'm going to pick up what Kwame Brown took off, left off at. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to get them bitch ass niggas the lead way the opportunity to continue to disrespect my coach our people like that, man. I'm going to speak about it. I'm going to talk about it. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? So, again... Somebody please tag Jason Whitlock bitch ass and Charleston White bitch ass in this video. Fact.